Hello, welcome back to Stone Shard. Let's continue. When we last left off, we got ourselves a nice little amulet, pagan amulet, and we're going to skip town now. Oh yeah, let's do it. We're much uh, more taking damage, you know? We take much more damage. We are much more of the taking damage, but that's fine because we do big damage and seeing big numbers good also i think it'll get better when we get more pyromancy and it seems to me and feel free to dis disagree but it seems to me like this game kind of plays in a very simple ooh, exquisite mantle i'm waiting for the one i know that there's element specific ones i'm waiting for them to have pyromancy it seems to me like the first like five levels of this game are where the real difficulty is and then once you get to this point it's like oh yeah if you play with half a brain, you will not uh, perish. Now, I have died a lot. What does that say about me? Uh, I leave that up to you to find out. But yeah, Stone Shard going strong still. Gonna, I might, I might try to expedite, but I don't know. We've got not much more to do, right? It's just clear a few dungeons, probably get up to like level eight or nine. No, probably won't go up to like 10 or 11, really. Probably, actually, when I max out Pyromancy is when we'll go fight the troll. Yeah, probably once I get pretty far into this tree, we'll go give it a shot. But until then, we're just going to keep doing quests, getting a little money. Go in Reliquary. Tell me that you aren't sending me to the fortress. Yeah, never mind. Never mind, we're not doing this. Uh, what I have learned from my playing this game on stream is that there's one top level dungeon on every map, and my top level dungeon is Fortress Rave Tort. I've been in there on my stream playthrough, and I will not be going in there right now, because that place is terrifying. The final boss in there is actually so scary. So... Instead, we will go back to Osbrook, and I will just pretend that I'm not wearing the amulet that he wants me to give him. I'm sure he won't even notice. I think, uh... We're gonna have to do a little inventory management then, but that's no big deal. I'll stop into the tavern real quick. I'm just gonna drop everything off, more or less. Right, I don't think there's much more I need to do than that. Crack this bad boy open. Amulet, book, uh... Antlers... Scrolls. Potion. What's this potion? Potion of elusiveness. A very good potion to carry with me. And a little mead in case things go awry. Keep the brandy. Brandy's like the, in case of emergency, break glass sort of drink. Like this is the, something's gone real wrong if I'm going through this stuff right now. This feels weird to walk around with two full pouches of gold, but it's also like, I want to buy stuff, and then I want to go drop my gold off. So I guess, but I don't really know what I want to buy, is the thing. I need food, for sure. That's the first thing we're going to buy. We're going to buy a hunk of meat. Probably buy two of these, right? One from you, and then one from the other person who sells these. I want to check if Bert has anything good. Geomancy 1 and 2. Swords 2. A hood. Doesn't look like it. He's got a lot of meat. But nothing really. Alright, let's go grab a quest. And if there is no quest, I know what to do. Though what to do is I just have to go sleep for like three days. I might have some work. Ah, there's a quest. Dank Crypt. Okay, so be it. See you later. It's been a while since we've had an episode with this much time spent to like just preparing for to, to go on an adventure. Usually I'm able to get going pretty quickly. What I didn't realize about Antidote, by the way, is that it gives you, like, 12 turns of confusion, which is really rough. I took it for my face-off against the troll, and then stumbled into a few rocks, and went, oh. Oh no. I can't use that. Because if you don't know, one of the things that I learned is that drinking a potion costs you 20 intoxication, which is something that I learned... As I was throwing up. I didn't drop off my gold. I, it, it'll get better. Probably not, but still. 
It'll get better. Bring the empty purse with me. There's no reason to carry around a full purse when I have an empty one. Now, the only thing that I don't have, and I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna spend any more time supplying, but it wouldn't be terrible of me to go get a vivifying essence before we leave. The game's kind of quiet, I've noticed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually turn it up a touch. It's like, there's just, there's not a lot of sound going on right now, which is why the game is quiet, but still. I would like it if, I don't know, I kind of wish the music was a little more... We are here, 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 okay, we just go on the diagonal. I wish the music was a little more, uh, like, present, right? Like, walking through the forest here. I wish there was some sort of music, but that, I understand why it, there isn't, like, there's nothing really happening. It's an interesting thing to look at. Oh, there's a bear. The timing of music in video games. Does it feel appropriate for there to be music here? I would say both yes and no. Oops. Wolves. This is actually fine, I'm sure. Probably. See, but now it's loud. Double crits. Who, buddy? They're not even gonna get to me, are they? Now, what I need to not do is make so much noise that the bear hears me and comes flying in. Because that's terrifying. 43... 16%? Yeah. Don't... Don't step on up. You're gonna catch yourself on fire. Don't do it, buddy. Don't do it, buddy. You fool. I warned him. Did I not warn him? I warned him. Did I warn him? And yeah. And yeah, he's just gonna spend the rest of his life on fire. Wolf pelts, sinewy meat. I don't need meat. I don't need wolf pelts. They're actually just, like, not really worth it anymore, I don't feel like. At the start of the game, when you're struggling, it's like, oh yeah, I need that, need that money. 60, 60 gold. I think they pay 40 gold now, and that's pretty good. Like they're trying. But now, 40 gold is, like, chump chain. For six inventory spaces, you can give me 40 gold? Yeah, right. Another bear trap. I think there's a lot of bear traps in these, like, timber, like, what are these, like, pines sort of area? It might just be a complete coincidence, but for some reason, I don't know why, but bear traps in this area, it just makes sense. I was hoping that this hat was going to have- oh my fucking god. My braces are about to break. Oh, they're at 50%. Where'd that snake even come from? Brace is a 50%. I just need to remember to repair them. I'll probably just, at the end of the episode, take out all my money and repair all of my gear. Most likely what we'll do, just to be uh, certain. And this is where the crypt is, right? Yeah. Good stuff. I should mention that if you hear any background noise, there's a lot of birds chirping outside. We had a pretty big rainstorm today, and oh, yeah, nothing great. Hello? I probably dug this up myself. After big rainstorms, there's always a lot of birds having a good time. You know the drill. They're just having fun. Chirping, being birds. You know, tweet, tweet, etc., etc. Just like Twitter. Tweet, tweet, am I right, fellas? Haha. <laughs> oh, what have I done? This is not a, not a great way to start this one off, I gotta tell you. Just walk right into an enemy. Although he did just take 52 damage and a torso injury. Oh my goodness, and then 30. So with, with this boulder up, and if I set an enemy on fire and then hit them with fire barrage, they take 38 damage per bolt. Which is, and this is true. Also, the fire resistance was down because of Ring of Fire. That's another important thing to note. But still, that's a lot of damage. Uh, we're not going to pick locks, right? We only have three lock picks. Although this one won't have a treasure chest that I have to open for the quest, it's still a good idea to uh, be frugal with my lockpick. You don't want this, buddy. Yeah, you don't want that. That's a lot of damage, I gotta say. That is a cons almost concerning amount of damage. Wait, I want extra turn. Sometimes the fire particles 
go away and you still catch on fire. Five gold, we are rich. Oh yeah, all in all. Looking good, I know there's another patch coming sometime this month for some new skills in the game. I hope that this patch does not wipe my save. If it does, I have thought about this. If, my, if this save gets wiped, I'll probably just put an end to stone shard and it'll be it. I'll have uh, the troll fight from my stream should be up on the YouTube by now. Maybe I'll set it to upload alongside this video. I have not cut it up yet, however. It's just, it'll take not much. It, it, it'll be like probably like 10 minutes total. I just have to get around to it. But yeah. Uh, if you really want to see a troll kill, I will have one up eventually. And then, you know, I'll move on to something else. Like I've been saying, probably going to do Iridus, but has it been too long? Nah, I don't think so. When did the game come out? Earlier this month? Maybe like two weeks ago? Maybe a little longer? I don't know. I... I'm really bad about getting into playing a game right when it releases. I should really, like, I got, it's weird, but I have to look at myself as the person who plays the game when it releases now. So that other people can see how it is. I just, I've never been that way before. I always wait to see how it is before playing it myself. Broken ass staff, but we got some cocaine. Oh yeah. These, this has been a pretty not lucrative trip. I've had runs to these dungeons where I come away with, like, a thousand gold in collectibles and consumables, which is, like, a lot? After my calculations. I want this guy to be in range of me when I stone pillar him. I don't know. Oh, so I do take damage if I knock an enemy into me. I took like 8 damage there, it looked like. Oh well, yeah, one-on-one -on -one fighting an enemy, it looks like you just like boulder when they're in melee range of you to hopefully knock them into the wall. If you don't get a stun or get a stun, it's good. Ring of fire, set them on fire, fire bolt them. Now, I do need to take a consideration to get into Pyromancy 3, so I will do this. And we're gonna keep taking Perception. I should probably double level Perception, but you know. Incineration is extinguish a burning enemy causing a violent explosion in a small area. Explosion deals 17 fire damage with a chance to ignite each affected target for 2-4 to four turns. Each remaining turn of the extinguished burning increases the spell's damage by 30% and ignition chance by 100%. Set an enemy on fire. It would be good if I had feed the flames now. Now that we're really getting into it. Feed the flames earlier seemed like it was pretty worthless, but now that we're getting more ignite-based spells, right? Like if I can... Oh, I accidentally hit illusion. Or sorry, illusion? Elusiveness. What? Here. Right, and then we just kill one. Now I could I could blow this guy up. If we look at him, he's at one turn of burning, so he's gonna take model. I mean, yeah, I'm going to take the damage, right? Ignite isn't a, a single target spell. This is an AOE spell. Or not, sorry, not ignite. Incineration. This is like I set three wolves on fire with blaze and then blow one of them up, and it's just fire everywhere. Like playing Fire Mage in World of Warcraft, which I actually did, by the way, in BFA. Played Fire Mage, so this isn't really anything new to me. You know, I'm not saying I'm a pro, I'm just saying. I've played a fire mage before. Although in BFA they were really bad. Like they were apparently husks of their former selves and uh, no one liked them. But I had fun because you see, you may not know this about me, but when I make big numbers up here, I go, ha ha, I made a big number up here. Why would I waste a lockpick on that? And so, you know, doing everything right and then just flinging two pyroblasts at an enemy and just blowing them away. Ooh, buddy. Watching those big bursts. Ooh, yeah. That's what I like. Me make big number up here. 76 damage. The big number. 42 damage. Look at those big numbers. Please, destroy the boulder. Corrupt them all. May as well rest, but like, I, this high, higher, our higher damage strat is going pretty well. I'm killing almost every enemy in like one shot. Old graph, by the way, finally. Most of these enemies get one turn in melee range of me before they are killed. Now, this is a lower level dungeon, to be fair. 
I'm not fighting anything too scary, but still. It's going pretty well. Yeah, like I'm, there's no reason for me to not uh, hit them with a ignite while they're walking up. Dude, we're strong. Like, imagine if I get some more power, too. If I get a little more magic power. Whoops. Ooh, ornate a graphic. I've never seen this before. This is actually, I've never seen this item whatsoever. Ooh. Old tooth I have seen. You see, I've, I've walked away with, like, an entire inventory full of this stuff, right? Like, four, three rows of just old graph and, uh... Ornates, although not really ornates, because like I said, I never had them before. But like rings, gold teeth. These seem to be the places to go for money. Like there's a lot, a lot of money in this place. There always is, but you know, and I was missing out on it because I was skipping the sarcophagi. But you know, I opened like ten and was like, oh, there's nothing in these, so why even bother? Every time I shoot an attack and they don't. Oh, I, I hit the sarcophagus. That's why this guy didn't catch on fire. I think I figured it out. Oh, we want to move so that I can stun him, or at least have a chance to stun him, so I want him to be like... I think I want to be here, and then I can put the wall here. <laughs> Bones broken. Oh. It's weird that they have higher dodge chance when they are... I've always thought this was a strange mechanic. I don't understand that. Can someone explain the reasoning of that to me? Why do why do you get higher dodge chance when stunned? I imagine it's like a purely game mechanics focused move. Two arms. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Step on up. Oh, he got stuck. Goodbye. Oh, I accidentally attacked him. But he... Wait, no. I didn't attack him. Weird. Oh, hey. It's the Necromancer. What the hell? Is he... He's not in line of sight to resurrect right now, which is a good sign, I would say. Now, I am going to potentially break this treasure chest. Yeah, that sucks. But, you know, it is what it is. I can get that stun. Oh, buddy. Although I am out of energy, and now I'm surrounded. Hmm. I put myself into a strange... We, we find ourselves in another strange predicament here. Perhaps I have gotten too cocky. I need to break the boulder for sure. This is where I'm gonna use that potion. Like, without a doubt. And, uh, like, I'll, I will probably die if I don't drink this potion, so I may as well, right? This will give me 15 turns of dodge chance. Now, being stuck on this tile with a curse on me? Don't love it. I'm actually going to also just drink water when I have that, because I have the time. And drinking water actually let me get that attack in there. Which has been very helpful in my killing. Yeah, elusiveness potions are pretty good, I gotta say. Now, enemy. Where? What? Over here somewhere? Yeah, there it is. I just, I need to... A hey, second wind, hell yeah. Perfect. The elusiveness potion saved my life for sure, and uh, it's probably the best potion in the game. No, nothing else I can really think of. I would say is that. Does he survive this? No, I did ninety. Does he survive this? I asked. It was a little closer than I expected. Oh my god, I could not stand up in time. I don't believe this. I'm actually gonna die. Are you kidding me? That's so terrible. I have elusiveness, I guess. I just gotta dodge this thing. Oh my god, I died! I thought there was no way there was another enemy. Are you kidding me? Oh, god. Should've bought a vivifying essence. That sucks. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, leave me a like. I don't know what I'm gonna do about Stone Shard, because like I keep having episodes like this is going to really extend the amount of time that this playthrough takes. I don't know, man. Like it's gonna, it, I'm, like I've said, I'm probably a few hours out. 
I think I'm going to like grind out a few dungeons off stream or off screen just so I can be done with it. Or maybe I just need to upload Stone Chart twice a day. Something like that. I'll figure it out. Uh, leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.